This is the Music History Today podcast for October 27th. On today's show, Lou Reed, Nas and Jay-Z's feud, and Vine all pass away. First up, though, on this date in 1957, police in Oakland, California, told Elvis Presley that he could not swivel his hips during his concert. In 1960, Ben E. King recorded the songs Spanish Harlem and Stand By Me. In 1970, Black Sabbath began their first tour of America. In 1975, both Newsweek and Time magazine put Bruce Springsteen on their magazine covers. In 1980, Mark David Chapman bought the gun that he would be used to kill John Lennon. In 1983, Hustler magazine publisher Larry Flint allegedly paid a hitman to kill a number of people. Among those on the list included Playboy magazine publisher Hugh Hefner and entertainer Frank Sinatra. Flint later said that he was just kidding, although a $1 million check to pay for somebody to do it had been drawn up. In 1986, David Byrne made the cover of Time magazine. In 1988, U2 premiered their film Rattle and Hum in Dublin, Ireland. In 2005, the feud between Nas and Jay-Z passed away when they publicly made up during a radio station concert. In 2013, Fleetwood Mac canceled their tour after John McVie was diagnosed with cancer. He survived. In 2015, the app Vine was killed by Twitter after Twitter bought the popular app. And in 2023, Adidas partnered with the group Korn and released a Korn sneaker and apparel line. In classical music in 1901, Claude Debussy's piece Nocturnes was performed in its entirety for the first time. And in 1950, Paul Creston premiered his third symphony. In theater in 1962, the British stage comedy starring Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, Beyond the Fringe, opened on Broadway. In 1964, the Broadway show Ben Franklin in Paris opened, and in 1987, the musical Letice and Lavage opened in London, England. Albums that were released in the UK on October 27th include in 1986 when XTC released Skylarking. Meanwhile in America, in 1967, 10 years after, released their self-titled album, and Dusty Springfield released Where Am I Going? In 1969, Johnny Winter released Second Winter. In 1971, 10 years after, released A Space and Time. In 1972, Stevie Wonder released his legendary, iconic album, Talking Book. In 1975, Angel released their self-titled album. In 1975, same day, Bobby Womack released Safety Zone. In 1978, Slade released Slade Alive Volume 2. In 1979, Motorhead released Bomber. In 1980, Hawkwind released Levitation. In 1981, Ringo Starr released Stop and Smell the Roses. In 1982, Prince released his classic, 1999, and George Harrison released Gone Tropo. In 1983, Teddy Pendergrass released Heaven Only Knows, and Bob Dylan released Infidels. In 1985, Celtic Frost released Two Megatherion. In 1987, Robbie Robertson released his self-titled album. In 1992, Michael Nesmith released Tropical Campfires. ACDC released their live album. Bob Dylan released Good As I've Been To You. Jefferson Airplane released Jefferson Airplane Loves You. And Neil Young released Harvest Moon, another classic from Neil Young. In 1995, Arian released The Final Experiment. In 1997, John Lennon released Lennon Legend, the very best of John Lennon. Also in 1997, Simon and Garfunkel released Old Friends. In 1998, The Afghan Whigs released 1965. Cindy Lauper released Merry Christmas, Have a Nice Life. Fish released The Story of the Ghost. Brian Adams released On a Day Like Today. And R.E.M. released Up. In 2000, The Haunted released Made Me Do It. In 2007, John Mellencamp released 20th Century Masters, The Best of John Mellencamp. And Genesis released Turn It On Again, The Hits, The Tour Collection. In 2009, Government Mule released By a Thread. Jack Johnson released In Concert. 
Carly Simon released Never Been Gone, Spandau Ballet released Once More, Stephen Stills released Live at Shepherd's Bush, R.E.M. released Live at the Olympia, Sting released If on a Winter's Night, and country music artist Brantley Gilbert released his debut album Modern Day Prodigal Son. In 2014, The Who released The Who Hits 50, and Taylor Swift released her first entirely pop album, 1989, which won the Grammy Award for Album of the Year. Singles that were released in the UK on October 27th include in 1972 when Elton John released the iconic Crocodile Rock, and in 1978, Meatloaf released his huge hit, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Meanwhile in America, in 1957, the Crickets released Oh Boy. In 1964, the Supremes released Come See About Me. In 1966, Junior Walker and the All-Stars released Money, That's What I Want. In 1973, The Who released Love, Rain Over Me. In 1975, Paul McCartney and Wings released Venus and Mars and Rock Show. In 1981, Queen and David Bowie released their classic, Under Pressure. In 1982, George Harrison released Wake Up My Love. And in 1997, Madonna released You Must Love Me and Natalie and Bruglia released Torn. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 27th include frontman Scott Wheeland of Stone Temple Pilots, Simon LeBon of Duran Duran, singer and also the daughter of Ozzy Osbourne, Kelly Osbourne, K.K. Downing of Judas Priest, Gary Talent of the E Street Band, of course, Bruce Springsteen's backup band, Byron Allred of the Steve Miller Band, Mark Ryan of Quicksilver Messenger Service, country music singer Lee Greenwood, John Greek of the Fabulous Wailers, pianist Floyd Kramer, country music singer Bonnie Lou, classical composer Niccolo Paganini, violinist and Olympic alpine skier Vanessa May, Peter Dodd of the Thompson Twins, singer Hazel Dean, singer Don Partridge, singer Charlie Lennonham, rapper Casanova Casey Moretta of Hey Violet, rapper T. Wayne, singer Mariah the Scientist, and rapper Live Like David. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 27th include organist Rudolf Agricola, who passed away in 1485 at the age of 42. Composer Johann Gran passed away in 1771 at the age of 68. Composer Hermann Francois de Lange passed away in 1781 at the age of 66. Pianist Christian Schwenke passed away in 1822 at the age of 55. Composer Ferdinand Franzel passed away in 1833 at the age of 66. Composer Alexander Varlamov passed away in 1848 at the age of 46. Composer Andreas Randall passed away in 1864 at the age of 58. Composer Wilhelm Garrick passed away in 1925 at the age of 80. Cellist Julius Kringle passed away in 1933 at the age of 74. Composer Finney Henriquez passed away in 1940 at the age of 72. Composer Bella Reinitz passed away in 1943 at the age of 64. Violinist Jeanette Niveau passed away in 1949 at the age of 30. Composer Franco Alfano passed away in 1954 at the age of 78. The singer for the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra from 1935 to 1939, Edith Wright, passed away from cancer in 1965 at the age of 51. Composer Derek Cook passed away from a cerebral hemorrhage in 1976 at the age of 57. Harmonica player Peg Leg Sam passed away in 1977 at the age of 65. Steve Took of Tyrannosaurus Rex 
Rex, which was, of course, then shortened to T-Rex once Steve left the group, passed away from drug issues in 1980 at the age of 31. Jazz pianist and saxophonist Alan Branscombe, who also played on the Beatles song Got to Get You Into My Life, passed away in 1986 at the age of 50. Band leader Xavier Cugat passed away in 1990 at the age of 90. Guitarist Robert White passed away in 1994 at the age of 57. TV theme songwriter Frank Duvall passed away in 1999 at the age of 88. Opera singer Walter Berry passed away in 2000 at the age of 71. Recording engineer Tom Dowd passed away in 2002 at the age of 77. Pianist Claude Helfer passed away in 2004 at the age of 82. Orchestra conductor Lester Lennon passed away in 2004 at the age of 97. Composer Hans Hens passed away in 2012 at the age of 86. Folk guitarist Terry Collier passed away from cancer in 2012 at the age of 67. The legendary Mr. Lou Reed of the Velvet Underground passed away from liver disease in 2013 at the age of 71. Saxophonist Bobby Wellens passed away in 2016 at the age of 80. Composer Ladislav Kubik passed away in 2017 at the age of 71. Country music singer Freddie Hart passed away in 2018 at the age of 91. And clarinetist Murray Corey passed away in 2018 at the age of 77. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 28th, when in 1987, Mr. Frank Ocean was born. <laughs> 